All right, so I wanted to make a quick video that is uh, additional to the video that I did to fix my EGR code problem on my 2003 LB7 Duramax. Uh, and I just wanted to, you know, because I was looking at it all over online and I could not, for the life of me, find a decent vacuum diagram that really showed all the components and helped me understand it. So just wanted to do a quick video of how it should be set up because my truck's running great and I am now able to pass smog. So if you're in California, you're probably in the same situation I was where I'm not gonna be able to pass smog unless I get that fixed. So basically here it is. Under here, we have our vacuum pump. That's that diaphragm there. And as you can see, there's that little nipple up here. That was part of the problem I had, but the nipple, then there's a, a hose that goes up. That hose then goes up here under the computer and right over to here, okay? Right there, I have my finger on it, this one. The one below it actually goes over to the EGR valve. You see there's one just below it. It's a darker black hose and I just replaced it. That's why it's a different color. Uh, and then when it comes to this over here, basically this guy that I just mentioned that comes from the pump ends up coming over here. You see this where there's a T? So it goes into this, which I imagine has something to do with the turbo, because it goes over to the turbo. You see that? It then tees off, and it goes under here to that solenoid. Uh, so if you're looking at it this way, it would go into the left side of that solenoid. So it would go into the left side. Right here is where that hose would go in. There's then a hose that comes out here, and that one ends up going all the way over here, which I just replaced. And then there's this hose that comes down and ends up going to the EGR valve. So yeah, it's basically a solenoid. So it goes from the vacuum pump to the solenoid from the solenoid to this electrical setup here, and I believe that's just to measure what the EGR is seeing so that it knows whether or not it's doing its job, uh, or at least the flow is correct. Uh, and then it goes from there over to the EGR, which is the dark black one down there. And you can probably see it way in here next to your little intake. I have it going there, under, and there back there is the EGR valve. Hard to see. There it is, you can see it way down there. That's the EGR valve. That's the actual plunger right in here. It's the plunger, so that's that's what moves in and out to let uh, gases in. So hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, hopefully it kind of cleared things up because it was hard for me to understand if I even had the correct hoses on. And another thing that you can look out for if you get like a barometric pressure issue and the mass airflow and the uh, EGR or a combination of those three, you know, one or the other or two of them or three of them, um, then you can make sure that these vacuum lines are correct because that is a very major thing that I realized because it happened to me. So hopefully it helps. I'll give you a nice video image back here just so you can kind of see. Pretty straightforward. But best of luck. Hope you enjoy.